you're watching free content from Digital Tutors, the world's largest CG training library. Enjoy the tutorial and visit digitaltutors.com to find thousands of videos streaming in HD. Let's create our wing joint. Now according to our wing anatomy diagram, there are a total of three joints that should deform the, the main sections of the wing. That's the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. However, if we were to just add three joints, our deformations would be very rigid, animating a wing flap. So what we'll do is add auxiliary controls between them, between our main wing controls. That way we can get some more flexible deformations as we animate the wing. So what we'll do first is create the main joints, and then we could always split them with the split joint tool. So we'll take a look at that. But first, let's head over to our later browser, Shift F4, and go ahead and lock the wing down. Now middle clicking, so we can get to our top view, we'll now press the H key, and we can get started building our wing chain. Going to the character menu, we'll access the joint tool. All right, so taking a look at our settings, we'll make sure that root null is on, which creates a root node above each chain, which is going to be very helpful, especially for the feathers. So we'll understand just why as we proceed. Also, under modifiers, this is how we create and edit joints. I'm using the default settings, so control clicking draws each joint. I'll leave it at that. And to split the chain, we can use Shift. I would also like to say in, in R13, there is a, a custom-made wing, a preset. But what we're doing with this wing is elaborating on that just a little bit more and taking a look at a slightly different way of building a wing. That way you can have even more ideas to add to your own wing setup, but you can most certainly use that preset in R13 as a, a foundation to build upon, possibly. All right, but let's say we go ahead and begin. I'll go ahead and create the shoulder chain. Notice I'm stopping right at the section for the elbow. And then we can create our elbow root right on top of this little joint here that we'll need to edit the size of. Since we have this first chain in place, we'll hit spacebar to exit our joint tool. We will be splitting up each chain. The reason why is because the wing, as it folds in, it's a layering process. So we're just taking care of that step by making sure first that each section from the shoulder to the wrist it's going to have its own separate chain initially. And then we'll link everything back together. All right, so once that's in place, let's say we go ahead and start to edit a few things. We'll grab our main joint. Let's go ahead and head over to our object tab. And under the bone drop down, we'll switch the size to custom. We can set this to a size of, let's say, 18 centimeters. And then going to our very end joint with that selected. Might need to zoom in a little bit more. Great. So with that selected, we'll go ahead and set the size here to 16. That way, when we add our elbow joint in and we set that to a size of 18, it's a lot easier to grab this smaller joint with a with a smaller radius. It's a lot easier to, to select between the two objects. Okay, great. So once that's in place, we can go back to our joint tool, making sure nothing's selected. We don't want to add to this chain just yet. We want to create an entirely new chain. So I head over to the joint tool. What we could also do is press the P key to grab our snap menu. I'll go ahead and tear this off and dock this right next to the coordinate manager. Great. And as you can see, I'm working somewhat uh, at a fast pace. If you'd like to learn more 
about rigging tools and Cinema 4D, feel free to look into our introduction to character rigging course and also our intro to animation course covers a few rigging tools that we'll be using. So feel free to look into those courses. But let's go ahead and get started. We'll make sure under Snap that we have 3D snapping on, our grid snapping off, grid line and grid snap, and also construction plane snapping. Now go ahead and enable axis snapping. All right, so holding down control, we'll go ahead and snap to the next joint to add our elbow. Holding down control again, we'll have another joint right at the start of the wrist. All right, great. And just as we've done before, we'll deselect. We'll grab our main root joint, that is. Then with that selected, we'll go ahead and switch the size to 18. And for the end joint, we can go always grab that from the Objects Manager. We'll have that set to 16. Okay, great. So we have just one more chain to, to build. Let's go ahead and deselect. We'll grab our joint tool again. Feel free to go to your recent commands list, tear that off, and go ahead and just dock that to the side. So now you have a quick way to get back to your joint tool, which is great. Hold down control and snap to the next joint. Snap right at the very end of the feather. And again, we'll deselect. So we can grab the, the root joint and resize it. We'll do the same thing for its end joint. That's going to be a size of 16. And now at this point, what we'll go ahead and do is take all of those end joints and set their orientation in the heading axis to 0. That way their orientation will match the chain, so everything will be consistent. So you can see, taking a look at the orientation of our, let's say, root joint, how it moves down the chain. But if we were to select our end joint, you can see how their orientation is kind of set to the world. So what we'll do is go ahead and just zero out their heading axis. Okay, so we have one more to do that. On. And now notice how the orientation follows with the rest of the chain. Beautiful. All right, so at this point, we're ready to go ahead and start segmenting our joint. So let's go ahead and take care of that. What we basically want to do is take a look at the amount of feathers we have to determine how many times we'd like to segment each chain. So for instance, this first root we're going to segment this about four times. So let's go ahead and head back to our joint tool. We'll hold down the shift key. Segment once, twice, a third, and a fourth time. All right, beautiful. So going to our next chain, this has a total of about six feathers. So this first joint, that's going to be used for the first feather in this section. So we need to segment this about five times. There's one for that feather. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay, great. Now for this last section, this has a total of five feathers. We already have a joint for the first. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Beautiful. All right, well, at this point, it's a good idea to stop the lesson here so we can continue working on our wing joints in the following lesson.